I picked up this used 2016 Specialized Camber uh, for a really good deal in town. I got it uh, from a local guy. He threw in a couple extra things and um, you know, I was able to get a really good price on it and get started into the hobby of mountain biking. Um, it's an XL frame and it's just a little bit too big. So today I'm gonna replace the stem here with a new trail stem from Specialized. Um, I got it from a local shop called Exhale Bikes. Um, and we're gonna replace that and see if that changes the geometry. Uh, for me, it's just a little bit too big, a little bit too splayed out. So we're gonna replace that and um, see how it works. Looking at my geometry on this bike, I'm just a little bit too splayed out. A little bit leaned forward, and my center of gravity is not exactly where I want it to be. It takes a lot for me to get behind the rear wheel uh, so I can manual or bring the front wheel up uh, in, a, in a wheelie. So I'm gonna replace the stem here and we're gonna try and get this geometry a little bit better for me. Coolest part about this bike is that Specialized have made it really easy and they've made almost all of the bolts, all of the nuts, the same most of the way through this bike. All right, the first step we're gonna do is to change out these bar ends. I've already taken this side off so I can show you it and show you it in comparison to the new ones. Now this is my old bar end right here. You can see it's, uh, it's not great, it's not bad, but the worst part is they just like kind of slide off the end of the bars here. Um, so I wanted to get something else. What I got are these. Body geometry, specialized, and as you can see, they are the clamp-on. So these are gonna be nice and secure, go out through trails, go through other stuff. They have a nice feel to them. I really like them so far. I mean, we'll see how they are actually on the bike, but that's that. So the first thing was to get that existing bar end off. Now the next thing, we're gonna take these guys, take our Allen wrench, and we're just going to take off one at a time. All of my new parts are coming from Exhale Bikes here in Arizona. It's where my bike was taken um, by the previous owner and uh, I might as well keep going there because they seem like nice people, they have good parts, they're a specialized dealer. Um, so, we're just going like this, all right. So, you should just slide on like so. They leave you a little bit of space in case you've got um, a drop seat controller up here or uh, anything else. But so, they're a really easy process basically. Just slip them on, now I'm just gonna tighten it up. And that's on, and that's tight, and that's not going anywhere. So, that's one done. All right, as you can see, you just have a nice flat spot there on the bottom of them. Got the nice markings there to tell you if you got them on straight. Feel really comfortable in the hand, they're really nice feeling. A little thinner on the bottom here where it's flat. So, I mean, they feel really nice. I, I think they're gonna be great on the trail. Let's put the side on. They don't come off super easy when you're just pulling on them, but man, they get really loose when I'm riding. Right. Sounds good. I can't wait to ride with these. The old ones were comfortable for the most part, but man, they are such a pain when they kept falling off, getting close to falling off. Okay, now I'll show you the other one here. 
This is the other side. They're beat up. I got this hole in there. I'm gonna open up this packaging real quick. Probably should have been paying more attention earlier. But Specialized actually included the tool right there. So if you don't have an Allen wrench, they come with it in the box. So that's nice. It's nice and helpful. All right. So for the rest of this, cool part is, I believe we're only gonna need one tool. So we're gonna step up our Allen size, just a little bit. All right, our next upgrade is gonna be the specialized trail stem. Set that to the side. So this new trail stem is a 31.8 millimeter stem. And then you've got a six degree rise, 40 degree long, or 40 millimeter long. So you can see it's gonna change our stem quite dramatically, which is exactly what I need. These bars are a little bit too forward for me, which isn't that fun. So first step in the process, Take that little cap off. Dusty in there. stem on. I ended up losing audio during this part, but I wanted to discuss the positives and negatives of buying a used bike. As with buying anything used, you assume a certain amount of risk. Sometimes it pays off and you get a really straightforward seller, and other times you get lied to and you buy a lemon. The plus side of buying used is that you save a ton of money. New mountain bikes can cost thousands, and a used one will keep more money in your pocket for other adventures and other gear. The downside is that you never quite know what you're getting. Some private sellers will do anything in their power to cover up flaws and to make their bike seem like it's in better shape than it really is. Keep your eyes open for excessive wear and neglect, and make sure you do your research prior to making a purchase. Another thing to keep in mind is the extra adjustment needed to make a used bike fit. Just like I had to change the stem on this extra large frame, you may have to do a little bit of part swapping to get just the right fit. Right, the last thing we're gonna put on today is this Z-Cage 2 from Specialized. Really nice looking, and the tool we got earlier with our barring grips is the same tool you need to get these things out of here. So we've got this bolt right there. Right in there too.